Hi everyone, welcome to Book Ravings. This is the part one of my bookshelf tour and I've started showing you guys all my Folio Society books. The first book is Dune. I love the details on the slipcase. And this is my second favorite cover on a Folio Society book. I've read this copy and it's beautifully illustrated. I, I strongly recommend it. The second book I'll show you is The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood and this copy is awesome, is illustrated by the Balbuso sisters. This copy is available again on the Folio Society website but this one I bought on eBay, actually it was a gift from my husband. And here I have the luxurious box of War and Peace in two gorgeous volumes. I love this spine and I love the way these copies look here we have the first volume beautiful 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 and the second volume is red the illustrations in this copies are mind-blowing really really beautiful i hope i will be able to read why piece soon well the next book I'll show you guys is one of my favorite books. I read it last year, in 2016, and I recently bought this edition of A Clockwork Orange. This book is bound in a material similar to snake skin, but fortunately it's not real snake skin, and I find the cover awesome. Probably my favorite book in the world, Jane Eyre. This is another beautiful copy. And the illustrations are also amazing. And the cover, the spine, this book. It's another perfect copy of probably my favorite book. Here I have The Good Soldier. beautiful book. I still have to read it. I bought it on the Folio Society New Year's sale in the beginning of 2017. Next, Orlando. I love, love, love this cover. This book is really elegant. Here we have it. Orlando by Virginia Woolf. Next, I still have to read it. Slaughterhouse 5. Really interesting cover. The illustrations here are also kind of different. And next, for the society copy of Lord of the Flies, illustrated by Sam Weber. The cover design is pretty awesome. Love it, love the colors. I love everything about this edition. Unfortunately, it's not available anymore. Next, Metamorphosis and Other Stories by Franz Kafka. Metamorphosis is one of my favorite short stories. Next, a book I still have to read. This is Oscar and Lucinda by Peter Carey. And last on this shelf, Midnight's Children by Salman Rushdie. Oh no, I still have one more here. Winnie the Pooh. Very, very handsome. Very, very lovely edition of Winnie the Pooh. Continue on. We have a copy of The Hobbit. This is my favorite copy of the Tolkien Collection by Folio Society. I love the combination of red and black on the cover, on the spine, and the illustration of Smog. Next, my favorite Tolkien book is Silmarillion, and I find this copy really elegant. Unfortunately, my copy has like a defect on the cover, but I don't mind because this copy actually, I have some memories related to it. 
so I really don't mind it. Next, a box of the Lord of the Rings. Really, really elegant, high quality, of course. These copies are paper bound, but the quality of the paper is really good. And each of them has a different illustration on the cover, on a different color. Here we have in blue two, two towers. And the return of the king. Pretty awesome, pretty awesome. Moving on. A Traveler in Time by Alison Utley. This beautiful green book, and I love the cover. It's really shiny. But the book itself is not really interesting, really outdated. Here we have a copy of Animal Farm. Love this book. I still have to reread it because I read it many, many years ago. And we have the traditional cover. Lovely spine. Pretty simple copy, but I like it. Next, The Remains of the Day by Kazuo Shiguro. Beautiful book. It contains like the cover has this like golden leaves, shiny golden leaves. Really cool. Still have to read this one. What else? One of my favorite books when I was a teenager, The Outsider by Albert Camus, an existentialist work. A nice reading. Really interesting. And this edition is also nice. It contains nice illustrations like collages. Continue on. This is Dickens London. These engravings on the cover. I still have to read this one. Two. I have many books to read. Yay. And Pickwick Papers. Super cool, strongly recommended. I really like reading, but entertaining. Poverty and oysters always seem to go together. And next, Emma by Jane Austen. Emma Woodhouse, handsome, clever, and rich. Beautiful cover, it's golden tone. Really like it matches i i like the combination with this blue this lip case emma is not my favorite book by jen austin but this is she's gorgeous and now another favorite and regarding for the society editions this is my number one little women by louisa may alcott i love the looks of this book i find it completely gracious and elegant. Next, by George MacDonald, The Princess and the Goblin, a children's classic. Really nice cover, love shiny things. And speaking on shiny things, The Little Horse. And this one is really shiny with this silver slipcase and this cover on white, silver and purple. The end papers are also silver. Gorgeous edition. Really beautiful. Continue on. Ballet shoes. This one is really pretty. I love the cover and the back of the book is also nice. With these ballet shoes. The spine looks awesome. I look forward to reading it. Another children's classic, The Silver Sword by Ian Serranier. Love this edition. Cover is pretty interesting. And the last one is an anthology, Winter, a folio anthology. And while I was editing this video, I received some books I purchased. And first, I'll show you guys is Wuthering Heights. 
and next is Anna Green Gables. This edition is really lovely, love the cover and the illustrations are really pretty. I will make videos of all these books, okay? Next by Tolstoy, Anna Karenina. I love the story, love the characters, really tragic book and this edition by Folly Society is amazing. Next, A Wizard of Earth Sea by Ursula K. Le Guin. Look forward to reading this edition. It looks stunning. And the Folly Society Jane Austen collection. This one is Pride and Prejudice. Illustrated by the Babuso sisters. And next, Persuasion. Also by Jane Austen. And the last, Sense and Sensibility. I look forward to Folly Society releasing more books by Jane Austen. I wish they release at least Mansfield Park and Northanger Abbey. And maybe they will release more, like the Juvenilia, I don't know, Lady Susan. So I hope you enjoyed this video. We have post five bookshelf tours and in total we will have more than one hour of footage. 350 books mainly and I will do like an overview of another 300 books. So I see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.